What's up guys, X7 Albert here. Welcome to another video. This video, as you can tell by the title, is called Trick Line and Skate 4. And I have in the building Skater himself. <laughs> what's up, bro? Yo, what's going on, guys? <laughs> My name is Skater, and welcome to today's video from X7 Albert. <laughs> it's lit, or should I call you O Skater O? <laughs> Honestly, though, I mean, hey, Imagine. dude. They call me that for years, bro. It's crazy how people still remember that shit, right? Yeah, if you guys remember who O Skater O is, then you are a legend. Like, what the frick was that? <laughs> Dude, I hate when it does that. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, if you guys remember O Skater O, you're definitely a legend. You're an old time OG subscriber for sure. This is him right here, Skater. I know, like, you've been through a few names, right? You went through, like, uh, branding yourself as Andrew Exclusive or something, or Andrew Kickflip? Yeah, bro. I, I mean, I've tried branding myself as, you know, uh, as my normal, like, regular name for a while, but yeah. I just figured if everyone knows me as Skater, I should just for go sure. with Skater. Man. Yeah, that was uh, a good so. move. And you brought your OG logo back, didn't you? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. For all you OGs, uh, you probably already know this, but for everyone that's new to the channel, I'm starting to see a lot of new subscribers. Uh, basically, Trickline is the you know most popular place down on Skate 3. I set the foundation way back in the day. You know, it has to consist of a revert, a transfer, a flip. And then I discovered Skater when? Like in 20, 2012, probably? 13? Bro, like it, bro, it was like the end of 2011, like right yeah, yeah, around there. It was a long time ago. But yeah, I discovered Skater and he pretty much evolved it. And like Trickline, like I always say, it would not be the same if it wasn't for Skater. It's a lot more technical now. It's a lot freaking beautiful to look at. I don't even know really how to explain it. It's just amazing. Like I remember seeing your first line up here, right here at the stairs. Remember that one? Yeah, Like bro. I just I feel like that line is yours. Like you're the first person I saw do that line it's just been like everyone doing it it's crazy yeah bro it's crazy man to see like where trick lining has actually came like yeah i don't know like i remember back in the day bro like it was just evolving so rapidly fast because it was such a new thing to yeah. everyone and like you know just to see where it's come in the years that we've been doing it man it's it's, it's crazy you know yeah Definitely especially crazy. back in the day with teams like rise and gear how we're doing all these videos like Team Todges, freaking, uh, what was it called? Rise Cams. And <laughs> oh my god, Rise Cams was amazing. Yes, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I'm actually going to link you a video after we're done making this video. But there's this dude that has an, an upload on YouTube of all the Rise Cams together in one video, bro. What? It's crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> bro, I have it in my Watch Later videos on YouTube on my channel, bro. Yo, I'm going to link Freaking so link me that. <laughs> Yeah, it's so dope for sure. Are they like the full videos just like compiled? Bro, I think like yeah, I mean I the, like the last time I watched it, it was all the videos, but I think he like changed a couple of the songs because they were probably copyrighted. Yeah. And he wanted I guess to get like ads in the video or something like that, so it's kinda it kinda sucks, but it's still on there, bro. Like it's crazy it's like a thirty minute video or something, bro. It's crazy. And like I saw all of the old like intros, like Rise Albert presents, Rise oh, Camp. Remember I used to do the voiceovers? <laughs> Yes, bro. That oh my gosh, that was such a oh my gosh. That was so funny. I can really just bring such a big smile to my face, man. It's crazy, man. Like this is where we started out, bro. You know, like skate I know, three, it's crazy. Yeah, Back man. in the day, and now to think that we're gonna pretty much kind of relive that again with skate four. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, skate four. I'm so excited for skate four, man. Speaking of trick lighting <laughs> in four, bro. Like, I, bro. I mean, first of all, I just have to say right off the bat, I hope they don't change too much as far as the difficulty goes. Like, I really hope they're still like an easy, like normal right. hardcore mode. Because I feel like that's what makes trick lining. You know, you can't trick line without easy mode. So I feel like, you know, hopefully, you know, in Skate 4, they don't change that. Um, so we're still able to trick line and do all these cool glitches and stuff like that. But. Yeah, before we get into that, what was like, bring us back to your reaction. I think you say you were like not even watching the stream. You're asleep. <laughs> Bro, I was literally out. I, I don't know if I was falling asleep or something. I can't even remember just because my reaction to Skate 4 was just so crazy. Like, I'm sure everyone saw me freaking crying about it on my channel, but freaking, I'm not the only one that shed tears about this game, though, man. Like, I was just laying in my bed, bro, and all of a sudden I hear my phone start to, like, vibrate. Like, it, it wasn't on, like, loud mode or whatever, so my phone is vibrating like crazy and I go on Twitter and everyone's like, skate four, skate four. And I'm like, oh gosh, like what's everyone saying? It's probably just trending on, you know, trending worldwide again on Twitter. And I go on my freaking <laughs> mention and all I see is skate four is coming out. Oh my gosh. And bro, as soon as I saw those tweets, bro, I just started freaking <laughs> falling like 
freaking tears of joy, bro. I was so happy, like. That's crazy. And when it, when did you start recording your reaction? Was it like kind of midway? Um, it was. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because when I first started reacting about it, like I was with my girlfriend too. So yeah. like, you so know, she, she saw bro, everything. Like, yes, bro. She saw bro. me, bro. <laughs> Like hugging me, she was like, "Oh my gosh, I've never seen you cry before!" Like, bro, right? Like, you should make a video crazy. with her where she gives her point of views and you're like, "How was your reaction?" Honestly, that would be a really good video. I think, she, I think since she was the one that point. saw it, right, from the beginning. Bro, yes. Like she, she saw me hop up off my bed. <laughs> she saw me in freak out. She kept on, bro. She heard me say skate four like a million times. <laughs> I kept on saying skate four. What? She's probably no like, way. who the hell is this nerd? <laughs> oh, yes. I low-key thought she was thinking that her head, I'm not going <laughs> to... Because have you ever really, like, talked about a game that much in front of her? No, I mean, she knows that I love Skate 3. Yeah. Like, she knows I play, like, almost every single day and stuff. But, like, she's never seen me tear up over a game, you <laughs> yeah. know? And I'm talking about, like, her not being, like, you know, her not having, like, a gaming background, like, in her life. I did feel kind of, like, awkward in front of her, like, <laughs> And crying about it but like bro it was it was just such a freaking like it was like a dream come true special man, you know? moment like, yeah okay. yeah bro like, like I pretty much everyone that cry is honestly like you can tell how passionate we were you know about this game like yeah, it's crazy man. bro it's crazy i saw your freaking reaction and i'm like i feel you Dude, out there, I, was, bro. Like, I was streaming that and i something hit me when they said when she said like now over to you cousin darren or something like that when i heard the name cuz like, I, I was like, where have I seen that before? But it wasn't hitting me yet. And when they transitioned to them, my eyes were already, like, towards the right oh. of the screen where the skate logo was at. And yeah. I still didn't hit me <laughs> until the guy said, we're back. And I just went, I just freaked out. I just, that's it. I lost it. Completely lost it. I didn't care who was around me or looking at me. Bro, I was the same freaking way, man. It's crazy, bro. Awesome, I'm man. still so happy, bro. I'm like just as happy as I was the day I got announced <laughs> right? as I am right now. Bro. Every like, time you think about it, every like, time you think about it. Live. Like, dude, there's been like a couple days for the past days that's been like passing since the like announcement of Skate 4. There's been times where like I'd feel kind of like down or whatever, bro, and I would just think about Skate 4 and I would <laughs> instantly get happy, dude. Like, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> it's just exciting, like, because we all know like what this game is going to do for everyone and us, and just it's going to be it's a huge blessing for everyone, pretty much. Yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about like I'm getting a lot of questions. I'm sure, pretty sure you've been getting a lot of questions too. Like, what are our thoughts on Trickline? You, do we think that it's gonna be in Skate Four? Or is it gonna be different? Blah blah blah. Obviously, guys, we don't know for sure. Like, we're not here working with the air, whatever. Um, but we can just tell you from our experience what we think and what we want to see. But uh, but yeah, what's your take on that? Um. Well, first things first, I do definitely want to say that you know I hope they freaking keep easy mode for sure like keep easy mode because i feel like that's what makes trick lining yeah is easy mode. you know you can't really i mean you can trick line in normal but it's just way yeah. harder you can't do flips easier you know things like that so i really hope they keep easy mode in the game um and also you know i feel like what also makes trick lining is the glitches too you know like and i know sure. escape 3 was was made like very quickly you know like as skate 2 came out in 2009 and skate 3 right after 2010 so they didn't really spend a lot of time on the game, so there's a ton of glitches in the game. But I really hope, you know, especially because they're working a lot more on this game, like, I just hope that they still, like, have some sort of, like, Easter eggs or, like, you know, freaking glitches in the game. Like, I'm sure, bro, I actually heard you talking about that in your Skate 4, like, wishlist video. Yeah. So, you know, definitely, um, you know. Yeah, like, like glitches glitch definitely, especially with you, you know, you, like, evolved that. You pretty much brought that into trick lining is glitches and nowadays glitches is definitely a big part of trick lining developers they it's not like they can on purposely you know develop glitches into the game it, you know you have to find it and stuff like that it's already in the code so it's going to be pretty much up to us and everyone to find those glitches like the way we do them here on skate 3 we're just gonna have to try to do them on skate 4 and if it's possible it's possible if it's not maybe there's going to be another way to do those glitches like the cannonball speed glitch but yeah but definitely we need to have you know reverts transfers and flips i'm pretty sure like i can almost like guarantee you that's going to be in skate 4 like reverts is a big part of skate 3 the franchise uh obviously transferring that has to obviously be in there and flipping that has to be in there so i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to trick line it's just the engine that it's being made on is gonna be a little different i don't know if you saw my video but there's a lot of 
evidence saying that it's going to be made on the frostbite engine um yeah. so that's a completely diff different engine from what skate 3 was made on so uh do you think the gameplay is going to be like the same or because i don't think I it's going to be the same i think we're going to have to get real used to it yeah that's honestly i've been saying that especially in my recent videos on my channel like i know it's definitely going to be a lot different you know just because it's you know it's 10 years ago that this game came out man so like yeah. there's gonna like there's there's going to definitely be something different about Skate 4 or whatever this skate game is going to be called. Let's just call it Skate yeah. 4 for now. Um, but, you know, I mean, I think it's definitely something that we can get used to, you know? Like, same thing with Skate 2, you know? Like, everyone who played Skate 2, like, we didn't have dark hedges in Skate 2. We didn't yeah. have a ton of stuff that we have in Skate 3, um, in Skate 2, you know? And, like, we eventually got used to it, and, you know, we adapted, and, you know, we turned it into something great, like, as, you know, we could see, you know day-to-day -day now on YouTube and everything um, but for sure I think that uh, you know it's gonna be different and you know I'm honestly looking forward to change but like I said I don't want too much change to where it's like I have to completely like relearn the game you know like didn't they say that they were gonna still have like the flicking of the sticks like yeah they're gonna like, have that for sure what we're used to you know okay yeah so as long controls. as controls bro let's go to free scare right now yeah, bro, Nine I'm part. going crazy. Right what now. is like, it, spectating freaking skater in Skate 3 Episode 1? That's hilarious. <laughs> Imagine. The whole series is about spectating you. <laughs> bro, oh, I'm flattered, bro. I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's spectate oh, Skater. This is all public, so people's going to join. I was going to say that, obviously, in Skate, uh, in skate 4, whatever, um, we're most likely going to get the same tricks that we know and love here in skate 3 but i feel like we're going to get even more so i just think like trick lining is going to end up going to a whole different level it's going to be evolved because now we're going to be able to do crazy lines with different kinds of tricks and obviously in new spots i just feel like it's going to be a crazy you know time for trick lining on skate 4 yeah for sure with the I new definitely, tricks. yeah i think i think they're they're going to definitely come out with more tricks you know because you know, like I said with Skate 3, man, you know, like, Dark Catch was, uh, yeah. Dark Catching wasn't in Skate 2, you know, For and I sure. feel like that is, like, you know, I feel like Dark Catching is what really makes, you know, not only trick lining in Skate 3, but competitive as well, you know, like, you can't do competitive without freaking Dark Catches in Skate 3. I mean, you can, but it just doesn't really look as cool, it doesn't get you as much points and things like that, so I think, you know, definitely there's going to be more tricks we could look forward to, um, one thing I'm also very excited for as well is the freaking wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a he full just lobby just like that. <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> like I was saying though, uh, one thing I'm definitely looking forward to is new spots in the game. You know, oh, like yeah. I don't know if they're gonna be putting like real life spots in Skate Three, but if they do, it's gonna be so cool to be able to trick line in like real life spots in the game bro like it's it's gonna be so dope like i don't know i'm just super excited for that yeah it was like if the spots are like super realistic then it might be a little bit hard but i feel like i i feel like they'll do a good job of balancing the game like with vert and street and whatnot so that yeah, we're able sure. to trick line oh one big thing too do you think i personally think it is i think it's gonna be bigger and better but mega park do you think it's gonna be back in skate 4 Oh, yeah, I think, oh my god, for sure. I don't know if there's going to be another Mega Park or if there's going to be something else that's like yeah. a little different, but they have to have something that has like the super ultra Mega Park feel to it. Yeah, you know, the style, sure. yeah. Yeah, so like I, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that because, you know, I mean, I, like at the end of the day, man, like Mega Park is literally the most popular freaking map in Skate 3, you know, so there's no way that they can't, that they won't, you know, like. Maybe they'll change the name. Cause in Skate Two, wasn't it called like Fun Track or something? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Fun Track in Skate Two. And then yeah. Skate Three, Mega Park. So maybe in Skate Four, they'll call it something different. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, because I'm not gonna lie, I did really like the Fun Track in Skate Two. Yeah. I actually did a lot of things in Skate Two, so you know, it'd be also really cool to see them take things from like you know older Skate games and apply it to the new one because you know it's. I don't know, there's just so much things that I enjoyed about all these, you know, all three things that's been out for the past, like, you know, 13 years that the Skate franchise has been a thing, and, you know, it's just, you know, it's just really exciting to see what they're going to have in, you know, in, in store for us. For sure, and then also with the with the difficulties, you mentioned this a little bit earlier, I feel like definitely they're going to bring back the difficulties, like easy, normal, hardcore, because I'm pretty sure they see how much people like that. You know, it opens a lot of doors for different kind of play styles and whatnot. 
So yeah. I feel like that is gonna return, but if it doesn't, then they'll probably just have one difficulty, which I don't know, it'll probably gonna make it hard for, for, for trick lining, but I do think that we're gonna have easy, uh, normal and hardcore for sure back in the game. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, and let's just say if the game is some sort of like hardcore mode, like something like Session or Skater XO where we can't trick line, then I'm sure there's gonna be definitely like something else that we can do that's similar to trick lining, you know, whether if it's finding glitches, freaking doing different things, just yeah. turning the game into something that, you know, but like something like what Skate 3 turned into, you know, because no one knew what Skate 3 was going to become with all these speed glitches and trick lining and all that stuff, you know. Because so. in Skate 2, there wasn't, right? There wasn't multiple difficulties. I don't remember. No, bro. It was just yeah. one. It was just yeah. It was just one. And it was kind of like normal, like we know it in Skate 3. Yep. Or was exactly. it closer to easy? Yeah, no. It was It was, dumb. It was just straight normal, bro. Yeah. So all the were pretty low pop, so. so yeah if they do that with skate 4 um you know it's probably not gonna be impossible to trigger line, but it's definitely gonna be harder and we're probably gonna have to get really used to it but if they take feedback from skate 3 from things that people you know love about skate 3 i'm pretty sure they're gonna put that in there also with trick line and skate 4 do you think i don't personally think we could make it like competitive because i don't know if you noticed but uh 100 thieves looks like they're a they're you know considering making an esports division in skate 4 for competitive um i personally don't think we're gonna be able to like get competitive with trick lining at that level like at an esport level do you think it could go that direction um i mean I, because I like with trick line it's not like really meant to get score right it's not right, meant yeah. to get points like that that's what we had competitive for so at esport level i don't know i don't think that's gonna work yeah i don't think it'll be at the esports level i feel like it'll definitely be a, like be a huge thing in like the youtube community yeah but as far as like you know like going pro and like you know doing all that stuff for trick lining like i think that's going to be available just for top players um but, you know, it would definitely be cool to see, you know, like some sort of like trick line, like, you know, contests being held. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, that that's probably going to be mostly up to the content play, uh, creators like us, you know, like that's right. going to be the thing that we do in the community for everyone else. To actually be at an eSport level, I don't think it's going to be there. I think it's just going to be competitive and getting points, getting score. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, I mean, I especially with, you know, trick lining, it's like. There's just so much possibilities with the NSK3, man. Like, there's so many different spots, so many yeah. things you can do, like, so many glitches. Like, I don't know. I just don't see them taking out, like, all of that in Skate 4, especially if they want to give us, like, a familiar feel to it, like they said, you know, so. Also, uh, with Goofy, Goofy and regular, that's something we definitely need to see back in the game. Oh, for sure, bro. I think 100% sure. they're going to have that in Skate 4, because, like, there is regular trick liners out there, and it looks pretty cool. And there's also goofy yeah. trick liners. I feel like the more stuff they have in the game, the more ways people have to play. You know, I'm like the more ways people have to play, the more people play the game. It just it's exactly. like a cycle. You know? So <laughs> I think it's definitely a good idea for them to keep easy, normal, and hardcore mode, uh, and keep goofy and regular modes. And um, you know, I mean, this doesn't really have too much to do with trick lining, but I really, really am hoping for better freaking like skater freaking like features because the skater features in skate 3 aren't the best man i'm not gonna lie the the <laughs> features or the figure what did you say like the features for like the skater like 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 the skaters and stuff like the clothes and like you know the tattoo ideas because i mean it doesn't have a lot to do with trick lining in the game but i mean i'm just hoping you oh, know like trick the customization pretty much of your skater yeah 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 like the customization because i yeah, feel like you know with trick lining the number one thing is making it look cool and if your skater looks cool, then that just adds to your style point. Yeah, know? I think that does, in a way, have to be, you know, uh, related to being a trick liner. Like, you, you got to have your own style. I mean, that's why a lot of, you know, the successful trick liners, if you notice, they all kind of have, like, their unique style. Yeah. So that's sure. definitely a big part of it. And I think customization in NSK4 is going to be crazy. Um, I think we're definitely going to be able to customize skaters a lot 
That's gonna be cool. I think that's about it for Trick Line Skate 4. I personally do think we are gonna see multiple modes. We're obviously gonna see easy mode on there so we can trick line. Uh, reverting, I'm sure it's gonna be in the game. Flipping, transferring, obviously that's gonna be in there. It's just a matter of like the difficulties pretty much. So hopefully we do have those three difficulties and not just one difficulty like Skate 2 and then we'll be able to trick line. Um, and also it being in the new engine, we're just gonna have to kind of get used to it. I don't think it's gonna be too, too bad at all. It's probably just gonna feel more like uh, responsive, more faster probably, but it's gonna be cool. What's your final thoughts, Skater? I think, man, I mean, I definitely agree with everything you just said. You know, let's just hope that there's freaking uh, easy, normal, and hardcore mode, because yeah. again, that's what makes the game for a lot of people, man, you know, like. For sure. You know, like, it would just, for me, like, for, like, here's how I think about it, is that, you know, like, let's just say, for example, if Skate 3 and 2 and 1 was all meant to be like Tony Hawk kind of games, but they're not, necessarily tony hawk games you know like right. i feel like you know taking out so many different factors that could be played in skate 3 is just like it makes ea it might make ea lose money you know right. so like that's just you know like i feel like the number one thing is just putting as much things as you can in the game so everyone can enjoy it you know in all different play styles and you know i mean i feel like everything will work will uh, work out for the most part you know but that's definitely what i'm yeah. most excited for, for of course <laughs> I'm excited to try Trick Line Skate 4, bro. That's gonna be like the first thing I try. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's gonna be <laughs> crazy. Gonna be, like, it's gonna be so weird, bro. Like, damn. I still like, I like. I don't know about you, but I've been dreaming about these moments and like always thinking what I'm gonna do when it's announced or what I'm gonna do when I am able to play it and stuff like that. And it's crazy, bro. Like I remember saying for the longest time, like when it got announced, I was gonna run outside naked. <laughs> but no, I sat here and I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I remember you saying that too, bro. That's so funny. That's oh, hilarious. Hey, I actually remember saying that when we freaking like lived together. If bro. I wasn't so stream, I probably would have. Shoot. But yeah, <laughs> no, I was super excited. I'm sure you guys were too. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you guys want to check out Skater, I highly recommend you do. His link's going to be in the description down below this video. Let's try to get him to 100k subs, bro. Come on. <laughs> you got to be with me up there. We got to be 100k buddies. <laughs> Yes, you need bro, that, that plaque. Makes... <laughs> Skater know, needs a dude. plaque, bro. He's been at this for years. He deserves it. I know, man. Thank you so much. For sure, yeah, man. if I can get it to 100K before the end of the summer, that would make me so happy, man. Heck like, yeah. I and mean... it was just your birthday, too. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's crazy, man. I'm 22 now, bro. Like, <laughs> it's. <laughs> yeah, that is freaking crazy because I like met you when you're a little boy, pretty much. Bro, you met me when I was 12 years old. Bro. 12? 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. I know, man. Like, I remember getting into a lobby with you and freaking out, bro. I was like the biggest freaking fanboy of you, bro. <laughs> like, it's... And then he became best friends with Wicked. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Like, thank God for Wicked, man. Right. Without him, I feel like you wouldn't have noticed me, bro. Because there's just so much. I wonder what happened to the other guy. Who was the other guy? I remember there was another guy you were really good friends with that was also in the team. I think it was like Rise Silva, not Silva. It was like Rise, something. I forgot. It was like a. Rise Chrome. Yes, Chrome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Patrick, Chrome. right? That's his name. Yeah, freaking Patrick, bro. It's crazy, what bro. The freak's he's Patrick. A streamer, bro. He's what? He streams. Yeah, he he uh freaking streams on Twitch all the time. Like he plays different games and stuff. Like that. Oh, he's a streamer now. Yeah, bro, he's bro, he's out here. Like he has a whole setup and everything. Oh like, god. <laughs> but, uh, we were just DMing about Skate 4 actually, and he was saying how he's gonna come back to the community. That's crazy, uh, yeah. If any OGs are watching this video, please reach out to me. DM me on Twitter. Cause I'm actually thinking of making a video like with as many OGs as possible. Like all in once in one Discord call and like just make a video and talk about it. Bro, the nostalgia would be crazy yes, with that. Yes. <laughs> that would be insane. Crazy. All right, guys, check out Skater. His link's in the description down below. Let's help him get 100K. Wish him happy birthday in the comments. And uh, that's about it. Peace out. <laughs> Peace. What's up, everyone? At XM and Albert here. Welcome to a new episode of Spectating Random People on Skate 3. Right now, guys, 